The problem with the zinc finger approach was zinc fingers are very difficult to de design. You had to buy them at Sangamo, buy a technology, a biotech firm in California, developed the technology and sold it to, to Sigma. And Sigma sold it to, to, to people, but for $25,000 a pair. It was outrageous. So then comes a really clever thing. Then uh, some plant biologist figured out that certain plant pathogens, when they want to invade a plant, they want to change gene expression in the plant up or down to make it better for them to grow. And they do this by a DNA binding protein which binds to specific sequences. And this is a very modular protein. And then these guys figured out we could use it, we fuse it to a nucleus, and we can use that now to, 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 to target a specific sequence, and the nucleus cuts in the middle. The advantage was it worked. We showed it. It works as well as the zinc fingers, except you can design them in the laboratory in, um, in five days. And Sigma dropped its price to Four thousand dollars, I think. So I think there, there, so, um, there was a problem. So, so, so I think competition is really good in science. So the zinc.